all my teammates, bro, they make spectacular plays, make line makes it the, the job easy for me, spill, the linebackers, I just make the job easy for me. I just run to the ball, just try to play on my heart, give effort. What did Coach Pierce bring to this defense today? Uh, you know, take it over his head. Um, I think he gave us spunk as a as a as a man, a player and a coach. He had some to him, you know what I'm saying? And uh we felt like we could play with some you know what I'm saying? Basically do what got us here. Can't be afraid to, to let it loose. You know, just you know, just need that and the energy he brings, like you wanna win for a guy like that. You know, you wanna go out there and bleed, you know, sweat, just like, get banged up and just go out there and just give it everything you've got and help him get the win because he deserves it. You know, there's no undoing what's happened before, but starting from this point forward, you are in control of that. Do you guys feel like um, that you are in control of the future and you can yeah. change the course here? You know, like um, you said, like that blank sheet of paper that AP showed us, you know, we have, it's a nine game season now. What happened the last eight games? You know, obviously we're three and four, four and five now, but who knows what can happen? You know, if we just keep doing what we need to do, get Josh going, get Devontae get going, get Aiden going, the defense plays how they play because the defense is, like, they, they got some hitters on that freaking defense. You know, Jalen coming in, doing his thing. You know, the rookie, 56, coming in, coming in, balling. Um, freaking Meek, Meek's, the energy Meek brings, everyone feeds off that. Like, his energy is contagious. And, you know, he, all the interceptions he gets, for, he's a baller. So, you know, we have so many guys on this team that we just feed off, and we all feed off each other. And, like I said, we have eight games left. So we'll see what we can do. You said the energy in the building is different. Sir, some of the energy in here in this locker room is different yeah. too. I know you've been a part of a lot of winning lockers, but just, just how's this feel? What, what's the scene like? This it's dope, you know, um, just being able to see this and just just be a part of this locker room is really cool. So I'm just really excited to be in this locker room and just be a part of this win. You got to keep on going, man. You know, we got to keep on going. I'm, like I said before, I know how this league is. You know, you win and next week, whatever, whatever. So you got to build off this win, you know what I'm saying? Continue trying to go on that run. Can you take us through that interception, kind of what did you see on the play and how did you kind of go back into coverage in order to get it? That's who I am, man. You know, I was just doing my job, being myself within the scheme. Once I saw the ball in there, I knew it was mine. And this is it. San Antonio Pierce give you an added boost as a team that you guys kind of needed to really get that fire lit under everybody? Definitely, because he a very, you know, he a very energized guy. You know, he plays this game. You know, he's a, he's a former player. You know, so he know how this game goes. And all he told us is go out there, man, execute, have fun, doing it. You know, a little weird because of, you know, what happened this week. But, uh, you know, the guys came together and, you know, we stuck with each other. So it's been fun. You call it weird, but is it actually, I mean, it seems like it was a good energy. I mean, yeah, no, it's definitely been a good energy. I mean, positive, positive vibes and, and, and things like that. But, you know, just with the situation. Um, you know, it, it started off a little a little funky. We really didn't know how, it, how it was going to go. But the whole week, you know, I just kept preaching to the guys. Let's lock in with each other and, uh, you know, go out there and have fun and play how we how we think we could play. How good that opening drive feel? I feel like we was doing everything right. out there. Everything that could go right was going right. Um, I think the whole game for the, for, the, for the most part was pretty good. You know, uh, we got some stuff that we need to clean up, but we definitely are on the right track. Was it shocking? Do your eyes kind of light up? You look up and you have so much open field in front of you for once on that opening drive. What was nah, that? I already told him. I said, look, on the first run, it don't matter if it's ugly or not. Like, I'm going to set the tone in this game because I know that if, if I get going and, you know, I I, I run with a, with a certain demeanor, it get everybody going. So I already had that on my mind, and uh, we just came out and did it good today. So you going to this is after both. Yo. Anybody, yeah, my daughter my daughter was in the stand, so you know, I got uh, two, she just turned three on Halloween. Um so yeah, that was that's that's where she was sitting at, so yeah, that was directed to her. What's your name? Journey. Mm -hmm. That first half was about as good as you felt all season. I mean I felt good all year, honestly. <clears throat> like even now, like I didn't I didn't really get hit that much like hard or nothing like that. My body feel good, so yeah. How important was it for this team to come out with the victory, not just to get the win, but to get it in dominating fashion? Yeah, man, I mean, I mean, we wanted to do it for AP, man. I think we all came to that conclusion. We all sat down and was like, man, no matter how this go, like, we're going to play with everything we got for that man, you know, just because, you know, the position he's in um, and however it go, he's going to be, the, you know, the face of the ridicule. So we wanted to go out there and play for him and, uh, you know, so that we can play good on all three phases uh, of football, and we went out there and did that today. Do you think that was the best your offensive line has played so far this season? What do you like? I think it's the best we played as a team uh, collectively all season. Uh, but, yeah, definitely the offensive line, man. Like, you know, I could, I could see it in their face. They was hungry to, to go out there and, you know, get a win. They knew they had a, a, a big challenge with Dexter Lawrence on the other side. I mean, he's been killing dudes this year. 
Um, and, you know, and they met that challenge, so it's been fun. What did you see from Andrew throughout the course of the afternoon? Uh, he's just po uh, poised, man. Like, he's very poised. Like, he come in, the moment, you can tell the moment's not too big for him. Uh, you know, he's not out there struggling to make mic points or anything like that. He just goes out there, and, man, he, and he does what he needs to do. Uh, so shout out to him and the way he prepares. We know how hard you've taken the loss. Is he kind of able to do the opposite here and, and take in on, on all the celebration? Never quite seen the locker room like this after one. Yeah, man, I mean, because the vibe and the energy is just, you know, it's just electric right now, man. Like I said, uh, this this is the most connected I feel like we've, we've been as a, as a unit. Um, and just to go out there and have fun and play and celebrate out there, out there doing things good and, you know, the defense stepping up and, and holding it on. It's just, it was just a fun day, fun day for sure. You seem like you were of a player and um, you know he's done a really good job um, you know just just making sure we understand that it's, it's not about him it's about this team it's about um, you know us figuring it out and getting behind him obviously and I feel like that's what everybody did that's why I looked that way today from a practical feel? standpoint uh, the fact that you guys are rewarded for that effort for that new beginning today how important was that like just for the psyche for the confidence yeah, it's good man you just like I said you hope that you that the product comes out the way that you you know you put all the work in those guys put in work you know throughout the week as well and they're they're hoping the same thing so it's about whoever comes out and executes better and we did that how did you feel Aiden O'Connor playing in his command in the huddle I think he did a, a great job out there I mean his his presence in the huddle is it's not like anything like a rookie normally would look like so uh, his comfortability in there. Obviously, the guys are doing a good job making sure he feels comfortable in there, um, and, and he knows the sky's the limit for him. So he just got to continue doing what he's doing, and you know we'll be all right. Did you feel like you know, Aiden and Trey kind of helped uh, extend the field vertically today, and that's something that can help the offense score Yeah, I mean anybody can. It's, but yeah, that's that's how it looked today, and you know we'll continue doing that and taking taking shots to back the defense up and keeping up, keeping on us. But you know Trey has that speed that he can he can do it at any point. So. Um, you know, whenever he has the opportunity, you know, he's going to put it up and we, we're looking to make that play. Not sure if they asked you about the victory cigars, Max bringing them on. Did you know about that? Or? No, I didn't know about that, but that was a great touch. <laughs> Were they from Max? I know Jermaine said he thought he came, that they came from Max. I'm not sure, actually. I know Max is the big cigar guy, yeah. so I wouldn't be surprised. Good. Cool. Thanks a lot, Dave.